All right, all right. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So glad you're ready to join me. My name is Pastor Carlos Rivera. I'm with New Life Outreach International Church in Richmond, Virginia. Louis Alvarez, you're the first dude on the line. Come on, man. How do you do that, bro? You're awesome. Nanine has made the scene as well. Uh, Carmelo Vasquez, God bless you, my brother. Geraldine, uh, Wait Henry, God bless you as well. Good morning, good morning. Jazz Hoyle, good to have you, Jazz. So glad you joined us this morning with Bradley Jenkins and Kay Dre May have made their way to see what I have to say. Oh, I finally said something different. Peggy Stevens, <laughs> Bradley Jenkins, Lisa Jenkins, God bless you. Kim Cooper, Audrey Ross. Elizabeth Albano, I, I will call you shortly, Elizabeth. Yesterday was kind of a little crazy day. Bradley Jenkins, yes, ma'am. Hallelujah. Hilda Bryant, cousin, God bless you. So glad you're on board this morning. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Zaida Preston, God bless you, my sister. Lynn Bell, Lynn Bell is here. Uh, we're going to ring your bell with nudge. I don't even know what to say. I'm just having fun. Adrian Mitchell. Yes, 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 yes. Elizabeth Albano. Audrey Ross. That's right. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Let me get a little sip of tea here. Ah, oh, boy, that's good. Jonathan Williams. Man, young man, it's good to have you on board with us this morning. Good seeing you at the... Just seeing you everywhere, man. It's awesome. Thanks for helping with the sound, too, on Sunday. Um, I told Joey we would try to get you trained up some more on the sound equipment. Zaida Preston. Yes, yes, yes. Tammy Massey. Good morning. Good morning. Yvette Sanders. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Annette. Annette. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> good morning again. Good. I'm so glad you're back. And Nikki Vanko. God bless you, Nikki. Good to have you with us as well. Lauren Gray, good morning, good morning. Janet Rivera, yeah, I just prayed for my sister Jackie. She's on the way to the hospital. We'll pray for her in a minute too. She's going to have a procedure done. So uh, I will pray for that as well. Uh, today is one of my prayer requests that I have as well. I just talked to her just now. Lauren Gray, you start your new job. Hallelujah. Congratulations, Lauren. Uh, you are such a blessing on the grow team and everything else that you do at the church. Donna Lee, <clears throat> excuse me, Donna Lee is with us this morning. Mm. Adrian Mitchell, oh, praise God. Yes, pray for Jackie. Yeah, drop that in the chat right there. Pray for Jackie. And we'll pray for her at the end as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Tuesday, family day. Good. It's family day. Tuesday, terrific Tuesday. Peggy Stevens, God bless you. Uh, um, praise God. Well, listen, let's go ahead and get started this morning. Virginia Herrera Erickson, God bless you. It was good seeing you at Dogwood Dell. That was fun. We had such a good time. Let me know. Uh, call the church about getting married. Come on, somebody. Dennis Lopez, good morning. My prayer warrior brother, Shanika Rogers. God bless you as well. Yes, yes, amen. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, today, today we're going to talk about, um, uh, before we go into our prayer time, uh, just a little Bible study, and uh, we're, we're going to call this Give God Control. Give God Control. Amen. Praise God. Listen, 1 Corinthians 2.9 says this. Oh, let's do this before we start. I've been doing this lately. Father, in Jesus' name, speak to us through your word right now. Amen. 1 Corinthians 2, 9 says, that is what the scripture, said, scripture means when they say, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. Wow, that's amazing. That means no matter, we, in other words, we cannot fathom everything that God has prepared for those that love him. See, God is in control of things you can't explain. Drop that in the chat right now. God is in control of the things you can't explain. 
See, in, in, as Christians, we believe that things don't happen by chance, amen? We believe that God's, God's plan prevails. Drop this in the chat. The unexpected is the key to the uncommon. See, often while we're so busy grabbing lesser things, ordinary things, mediocre things, God is planning extraordinary, uncommon things for your future and for my future as well. See, I believe God has places that he wants to take us, but he has to be in control because we don't know how to get there. Only God can get us there. So we have to relinquish control to the Lord and allow him to guide us and to lead us, right? You know, I believe that, that part of what we do is we assert ourselves to do the best that we can to, to work in a spirit of excellence all the time. And I believe that we should have goals that are that are lofty, that are big. I mean, have goals that are so big and, and dreams that are so big that only God can make them happen because that's what God specializes in. Amen. He specializes in taking and doing things at a level that is so it's supernatural. Not just natural, but supernatural. I mean it's bigger than things that we can see in the natural. Listen, drop this in the chat right now. Reach for the stars. They belong to God. Oh, come on, somebody. Drop that in the chat. Reach for the stars. They belong to God. And guess what? If they belong to God, they belong to you as well. We are his children. We are the heirs of everything God has. So understand that when you give God control, then he's able to do things. And listen, the process isn't always easy. As a matter of fact, let me say this. The process, most of the time, is very challenging. However, the results are always amazing. God is so good. You see, God knows the potential you possess. And when you follow his plan, you end up accomplishing more than you could ever imagine. That's right. So know that God has you in the palm of his hand as long as you give him control. I believe that we get in trouble when we start taking control ourselves sometimes. And to stay in that place of surrender and that place of trust isn't easy, but it's always possible through the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I believe that part of, of, of giving God control is also avoiding wrong people. Oh, drop that in the chat. I talk about this at least two or three times a week. Avoid wrong people. Jonah chapter 1 verse 15 says, Then the sailors picked Jonah up and threw him into the raging sea, and the storm stopped at once. Hmm. You see, in the story of Jonah, what a powerful story. God sends Jonah on a mission to Nineveh, right? But Jonah disobeys and gets on a ship into Joppa, heading for Tarshish. See, when you read that story, you realize that, that Jonah is running from his calling. But see, during his journey, a storm comes up and the ship is in danger. See, have you ever stopped to think about the other people on the boat who were about to lose their lives besides Jonah? That's right. See, drop this in the chat right now. Good people pay the cost for your bad choices. Good people pay the cost for bad choices. You see, sometimes all it takes is one rebellious, disobedient person to take down a whole shipload of people. That's right. That's why we have to be careful who we fellowship with. Come on, somebody. To fellowship is to have is to have a, a communion and connection with other people as well. Uh, with God, we can fellowship with the Lord, but we also fellowship with one another. So we need to understand how powerful and how we have to be careful of the folks that we hang out with. It's just I it, I just can't say that enough because. Uh, the people that we hang out with can either lead us closer to God or take us away from God. See, there are times in life when you are not the problem. There are times in life when you are not the issue. The problem may be the people you're associating with. They bring things upon you. Listen, we have to be so careful because uh, what people are speaking into your ears, into your heart, into your spirit, you know, are they positive? Are they, are they uplifting, right? And uh, are we, uh, do they create that atmosphere of peace around you as well? You know, the Bible says this, and you can drop this in the chat, bad company corrupts 
good character. Bad company corrupts good character. See, sometimes as soon as you get the wrong people out of your boat, your storm will cease. Amen. Sometimes when you walk away, listen, I believe that God blesses us with things and, uh, you know, uh, and, but when, when it comes to relationships, right, uh, some people, your life, your life is bettered, is improved when they, when certain people come into your life. Listen, sometimes your life is better and improved when somebody leaves your life. Oh, come on, somebody. Sometimes God needs to take people out of your life when they're not, not the wrong, the right people. When they're the wrong people, we need to know that God needs, and sometimes ourselves, we have to make a decision, a, a decision who we hang out with, right? And because a lot of people will speak doubt. Uh, man, I tell you what, uh, people that speak doubt around you, that whenever you say things that God has in your heart, well, they just bring doubt and it can't be done. And, and listen, drop this in the chat. Disregard doubt. Disregard doubt. Because nothing will steal your dreams and your faith greater than people around you or yourself. Because sometimes we'll speak doubt over ourselves. Look what Matthew chapter 21, 21 says. So Jesus answered and said to them, Surely I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what was done to that fig tree, but also if you say to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea, it will be done. Oh my goodness, that is such a powerful, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm sure you got to remember that, that Jesus had spoken to that fig tree that was giving no fruit. And of course, it, it, of course, it, it just, it just, it just withered away. And I believe that when he when he, he was he must have been standing somewhere where he could see the mountains, and he said, "See, you can speak to those mountains, and they'll be removed." I believe those are just ways that that God speaks in visions. He gives you pictures of what it looks like. Listen, drop this in the chat. Miracles happen only to those that believe. Miracles happen only to those that believe. So we need to start believing. Amen. See, d doubt never produces your desired results. Oh, come on. Drop that in the chat. Doubt never will never produce your desired results. And, and then we have to be careful that we that we stop advertising our doubts. Stop verbalizing your worries. You know, once you start putting it into the atmosphere, once you start speaking it, remember that you have that, that God has given you the power to speak, the creative power of speaking, which which, which um, you can actually speak into your own future. So if you're talking and you're and you're advertising all your doubts and you're and you're verbalizing all your worries all the time, then what's going to happen is those things will come to pass. I remember I remember reading in in Job where he says that the things that he feared happened. You know, the things that he feared the most happened. And when you read that scripture, you realize. That, what, that, that exactly what you fear and what he was worrying about, and maybe he was even verbalizing, it actually happened. That's right. Your words have power. Your words are creative. So we got to be so careful uh, that we don't speak doubt over ourselves. You know, start, listen, start celebrating your expectations of a miracle. Man, I tell you what, it was easy for the children of Israel to celebrate when they got to the other side of the Red Sea. But man, Faith would have been, hey, listen, we see uh, 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 Pharaoh and the Israelite uh, and the uh, Egyptians. We see Pharaoh and the Egyptians uh, coming from behind us, where there's mountains on both sides. God, uh, the the Red Sea is in front of us, but we're gonna celebrate our God because He brought us this far. He's not gonna leave us out here to die. And man, I tell you what, that's faith. Faith is celebrating before it happens. Drop that in the chat. Faith is celebrating before it happens. You see, when the 12 spies invested 30 days spying, 10 chose to doubt. So God gave them 40 years of pain. Imagine that 30 days they went out to spy the land, came back doubting, came back with a negative report, and it cost others pain for 40 years. See, a single day of doubt can produce a year of heartache. Mm, come on, somebody. I'll tell you what, I believe, uh, drop that in the chat. <laughs> a single day of doubt 
can bring a, a year of heartache. You see, the costliest experience on earth is doubt. Because doubt holds you back from everything that God has for you. And you know, I believe that the key to not doubting is to continue to move. Don't be stagnant. Listen, continue to take small steps. Listen, drop that in the chat right now. Keep taking small steps. Always be moving. Zechariah 4.10 says this, Do not despise these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. Do not despise these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. You see, everything in life usually starts out small. <laughs> it's an idea. It's a concept. It's a, it's, a, it's a desire. It starts out with just a little seed in your heart, in your mind. And, 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 and when it's planted there by God, when God plants that seed, you know that it's going to start producing. But it, sometimes it just takes a while. See, overcomers are those who are willing to move forward an inch at a time. That's right. We don't have to, oh, it doesn't have to be a sprint. We just start, start taking small steps. See, stay moving. Stay moving. Drop this in the chat. Stay moving today because today is always moving. <laughs> uh, stay moving today because today is always moving. The clock keeps ticking, right? Hours, minutes go by, hours go by. Everything is always moving. See, break down your goals into small steps. See, I believe that's the key. Uh, I believe to accomplish great things, sometimes it just begins with small steps, with small additions, uh, adjustments to your schedule. You know, it could be just uh, an extra 10 minutes to do this or, or 15 minutes to do that. But, but when you do it every day, it begins to accumulate and it gets you to where God wants you to be. Drop this in the chat because this is so powerful. Progress creates joy. That's right. Progress creates joy. Listen, we have to be careful not to beat ourselves up so bad. You may not be exactly where you need to be yet, but thank God, come on somebody, that you're not where you used to be. I say that all the time. Lord, thank you. Because I can look back sometimes and, and say, man, I've come a long way. And I look ahead of me and I go, man, I got a long way to go. And man, we all do. But at the same time, we've also come a long way. Listen, be joyful about the progress progress that you're making. Listen, two things are more important than your money, your energy and your time. Oh, come on, somebody, your energy and your time. See, be careful and identify time wasters, people that waste your time, those who diminish your energy, who lim you know, limit their access to you. That's right. Don't be so quick to answer the phone if you know it's going to be that that person. Come on, somebody. Well, you, you know what I'm talking about. That person that every time you get on the phone with them, it's going to be a negative situation. Listen, put time, put distance between yourself and people sometimes. Limit access, you know, especially uh, in the, I always say certain people are not a Monday morning conversation. <laughs> if you're going to start off your week, there's certain folks you don't always want to talk to because it starts your week off kind of rough. Choose the battle. Be careful. You know, make sure that you're not getting, those folks are not taking the energy out of your life. You know, continue to take small steps every single day, and you'll see God do great and mighty things. See, small steps count. See, they do. They do. Every small step you take makes a difference. Drop this in the chat right now. Consistent small steps take you to big places. Consistent small steps take you to big places. So just continue. Is that, is that old saying, how do you eat an elephant? Remember, ever heard that? How do you eat an elephant? That's right. One bite at a time. <laughs> it may take you a while. Come on, somebody. But just one step at a time. Praise God. Listen, let's go to the Lord and pray right now. Right now, just lift up your hands. Just begin to praise the Lord this morning. He's such a good God. Heavenly Father, we just thank you this morning for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy. We're so, gra we're so grateful, Lord God, for all that you do for us. We thank you, Father God, for blessing us. 
for, for, for helping us, for, for assisting us through some of the issues that we're going through. I pray that even now, Lord God, you will lift burdens. You will break yokes right now. Lift the burdens through your Holy Spirit anointing right now to everyone that's on this program, Lord God. It can be so easy to be weighed down, Lord God. But in Jesus' name, Lord God, lift that burden, Lord God, right now. That we would come into your presence, Lord God, and, and just in spirit and in truth and coming from a place of victory never from a place of defeat. So we just thank you even now, Lord God, for what you're getting ready to do this morning, for answering our prayers in advance. We thank you, Lord God, that you're inclining your ear towards us this morning and you can hear every prayer. And Father God, this morning, help us to give you control of our lives. Help us to surrender to you, oh God, to trust you with every circumstance, to know, oh God, that you're a good God that you're a God of goodness and grace and mercy. And we just thank you, Lord God, that we can trust you to control, to, to steer, to guide our lives every single day. And in Jesus' name, help us to identify those wrong relationships. Father God, those people that take energy out of our lives, those people that come in and, and cause havoc and, and gossip and division, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, you would help us to discern them, Lord God. And if it happens to be somebody close to us, I, let's just pray for them right now. Lord God, help us, Lord God. Help our spouses, our families, Lord God. Help us to deal with situations, Lord God, because we can't eradicate them out of our lives, but help us to pray for them and to see change even one step at a time to pray for them and believe you, Lord God, for transformation as well in the name of Jesus. And we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus. And Father, help us not to walk in doubt, to disregard doubt, Lord God, to begin to walk in faith, Lord God, to trust you and believe your word more than anything else to so take our minds and, 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 and bring down every stronghold that's in our mind trying to speak to us lord god to take every thought under the captivity of jesus christ oh god and we just thank you that even now we tear down every spirit every thought that would try to hinder us right now in the name of jesus a devil, you have no place in our mind. Our mind is a place where the Holy Spirit resides. And in Jesus' name, we command every divisive thought, every doubting thought to be gone right now. And Father God, we trust you and we believe you greater than anything else, oh God. You're our refuge, you're our strength, you're our rock this morning in Jesus' name. And Father God, help us to continue to take small steps every day. Every day, Lord God, to continue, Lord God, to, to move forward, to progress, to create that joy in our lives that we need for the joy of the Lord is our strength. And we know that we're always moving in your direction. So we thank you, Father God, even now. We thank you for the victory. We thank you, Lord God, for every small step we take, Lord God, leads to a bigger end. And we know in Jesus' name, Lord God, we don't always see it. We don't always know it, but we know, oh God, that you're in control because we've surrendered to you and we thank you for moving us forward every single day. One step closer, Lord God, to, to being the person that you've called us to be. One step closer to reaching the places you want us to reach. And we just thank you for the victory in advance in Jesus' name. And Father God, right now we lay hands on all these prayer requests, all these people that we bring before you. We thank you for salvation for our friends, our family, and our colleagues. We thank you for healing right now. For uh, be with Jackie, my sister, as she goes into into uh, um, surgery this morning. I pray, oh God, that you would just touch her, give her peace in her heart, Lord God. Guide the hands of the doctors uh, and the nurses and the staff. I pray in Jesus' name that your Holy Spirit will be there with her, Lord Father. And we just thank you right now that Nelson and, and, and Janae and the rest of the family could be at peace this morning, knowing that you're in control. So we just thank you in advance, oh God. And we praise you for the victory, Lord Jesus. And Father, we pray for Pastor Carmen and, and Mama Rose and just uh, Sister Dorothy and all the other sisters and brothers in the church Right now, we pray for divine healing over their bodies. Continue to strengthen them. Continue 
to build them up even now, oh God. So in Jesus' name, we just speak health over them, Lord God, and over all those on our list right now. Lord God, you're the God of healing. We just receive it done right now in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you, Lord God, for your provision, for providing for every single need of those that are on our list right now, whether it be a spiritual need, a physical need of some sort, Lord God, a financial need. We pray for your blessing, your financial blessings upon those on our list and upon your people right now in Jesus' name. And Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that you're still providing for everything that we need every single day. And I pray, Lord God, right now for deliverance, for, for setting the captives free right now, for breaking yokes, oh God, of bondages. And in Jesus' name, we command right now those the, the enemy to take his hands off the people that we have on our list and even over our minds and our hearts right now. In the name of Jesus, we take authority over you right now and we break those chains in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for the victory in advance. And Father, we just praise you for restoration of marriages and relationships and healing people as well, Lord God, and restoring, Lord God, the brokenhearted, Lord God, and bring back the black, the backsliders, Lord God, those that have turned from you, bring them back into your fold right now in the name of Jesus, that they will sense your anointing and your power will draw them back, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for wayward children, wayward family, wayward friends, oh God, Bring them back. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, today we pray for every unspoken request as well, Lord God. There are things maybe in our hearts, Lord God, that we just bring before you. And we just thank you, Lord God, for lifting the burden, for meeting the need. We thank you that even now, oh God, you're more than willing and able to do exceedingly, abundantly, more than we can ever ask, think, or imagine. Thank you, Lord God. We praise you for the victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. Begin to give the Lord praise this morning. Believe that God has done it. That's what faith is. For faith is calling things that are not as if they were. Amen. So praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. My God, my God. Happy anniversary, my sister Elizabeth Albano. God bless you. Uh, uh, Ivy McNeil, God bless you. Man, God, hallelujah. Actually, put your, put your hands together. Begin to praise the Lord. Begin to give him glory and honor this morning. He is a good God. He's a faithful heavenly father. And I always close with a scripture. Psalms 99 uh, verses 1 through 3 says this. The Lord is king. Let the nations tremble. He sits on his throne between the cherubim. Let the whole earth quake. The Lord sits in majesty in Jerusalem, exalted above all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Your name is holy. Wow. Worship. Praise. Listen, do that every single day. Every single day, amen, continue, continue to praise the Lord, continue to glorify him. He is a great and mighty God. And remember this morning, it is, is Double Dose Tuesday. That's right, Double Dose, that means tonight we have that prayer gathering, that's right, with Pastor Martin. So make sure you get the phone number, get tuned in. Uh, you'll probably see a post on Facebook as well. And, uh, and just, you know, just know that, that, that you can pray again tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. With, the past, with Pastor Martin as well. So, and we're just so glad. Listen, if you came in a little bit late, don't fret. Hit replay. Watch this thing again. I guarantee you God will bless you and minister to your heart. Man, I just saw a couple of names, Tina Jones and a few others that I haven't seen before. I want to welcome you to to our gathering, amen, and pray you'll continue to come back and make this part of your day. Listen, I appreciate you guys, but you, I, I want to know, I want you to know that creating this rhythm every morning of being on this, on, on, on uh, walking in the spirit, creating that rhythm makes such a difference. And because it, it's not about me, it's all about God, right? It's all about waking up and knowing that we're going to 
gather together for God's word, that we're going to pray together as well. And that makes all the difference in the world. So God bless you. Uh, let me pray God's blessing over you as well. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, listen, have a blessed rest of the day. Amen. Have a great day. I'm so glad that you joined us. And uh, Haley and Gary, God bless you. I don't think I've seen your names either. Glad you're with us as well. And God is so good. So listen, go forth today, one step at a time. Let God lead you and guide you. And remember, when you're walking in the spirit, you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Share, if you got blessed today, let's, man, part of our outreach is when we share this thing on Facebook, man, other people get to tune in and be, and it also becomes a blessing when all of us gather together and minister to those outside that watch this program and sense the anointing of God. So God bless you. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you again tomorrow morning right here at 7 o'clock a.m. on Walking in the Spirit. God bless you.